Hi everyone. I'm going to introduce you to a community building warm up activity called MATI, which I really like to do at the beginning of workshops and classes. And you can use it, I think, more than once throughout a semester. Uh, once people get used to it, it's, it's really cool. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. It's called MATI, so it kind of reminds you a little bit, and the picture that we have over here kind of reminds you of Alice in Wonderland. It's a little bit dizzying when you do it. There are two ways of doing it. You can either do it via the text chat and just ask people to write in the text chat, or you can do it via breakout rooms, which is my favorite part, which is very energizing, but uh, depends what you're comfortable with, what your students uh, end up enjoying. And so the first one I'm going to show you is how to do it with text chat. Now, mm -hmm. in the recording, you won't be able to see the text chat, but what we want to do is we're writing a sentence like, I'm managing my well-being by, and then asking participants to type their answer in the text chat. And there are two ways of doing that. They could either just type it whenever, or they can all wait and press enter at the same time. Now, when they all press enter at the same time, the advantage is that people aren't, aren't saying something similar to someone else. They're saying whatever was in their mind originally. Um, and so that's kind of a way of not influencing other people. But if you have a large number of people, that's like having to read 40 people at once, which is not easy and people will have to scroll a lot to see it. So I'm comfortable with people just saying, like, whenever you're ready to say, I'm managing my well-being by, and you can even type in the question again in the text chat. Okay, and then guys, go ahead and type, and I'm going to start reading out what people are saying. So Ken is managing his well-being by running EduCoffee, which is a great uh, thing he's been doing since the pandemic, where he just he gets these like open office hours, where people come and drink coffee with him, which is so cool. Uh, Mia is talking about having tea with all of us, so kind of riff off of that. I need to go get CT. Managing, Parissa is managing her well-being by reading Persian poetry, I think. The scrolling is getting hard. Yes, Persian poetry. I love poetry too. And Catherine always get, gives me gifts of poetry. Um, Catherine's managing her well-being by swimming in the sea most days after work. That's amazing that you live that close to the sea. Uh, Fran, by walking. Yeah, I do the walking thing too. Uh, Anne-Marie, taking baths and meeting up with friends on the radio. Yeah, Anne-Marie has a great radio show. <laughs> And George Station by listening to audiobooks. I love audiobooks too. We listen to podcasts as well. Like my little one listens to Teaching in Higher Ed by Bonnie Sahoviak. <laughs> she also plays Minecraft with her kids. So it's kind of very interesting. She feels like she knows her really well now. Uh, all right. Has anyone not contributed? I think maybe Anna Smith doesn't have easy access to the keyboard. So, okay. So that was the first one. And everybody's jealous of the cat. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move on to the next part. No, we're jealous of Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, I was like, where's, where's the cat? I'm looking at where's the snow cat? <laughs> so you're jealous of the, of the water, like being able to swim. Okay. All right, so I'll go to the next part. So usually on Zoom, there's this very easy way of doing random breakout rooms. I don't know if any of you have ever tried it before, but you basically just go to the breakout room section. Instead of saying manually, you say automatically and you just say the number of rooms and it'll, it'll put people in rooms. Uh, and I'm gonna put you in two per room. Um, and I'm gonna keep someone here with me in the main room uh, to be recorded. So whoever stays in the main room, just remember that you're gonna be recorded uh, and the others are not, so. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms for two minutes to answer a question that I'm going to put on the screen right now. The question is, I am joining this session or course because, okay? So just talk about why you're here today. And I'm gonna send you out now for two minutes and just make sure that everyone gets a chance to speak. Okay, and Ken, I'm keeping you with me in the room while everyone else goes. And I'm also at the same time monitoring uh, that everyone got to their rooms because sometimes people have slow connections or they drop off and someone ends up alone in a room. Or you lose, you can't find the button to join. It happens to I've made it that it sends them automatically so that they don't have to Oh, work. lovely. Yeah, lovely. you Good can job. do that. So tell me, you're, it's your first time with Equity Unbound, right? Yeah. So you're joining So I'm joining the session course because um, so I've been 
vaguely following what's happening in Equity Unbound, but not had the bandwidth to really follow. And then George invited me. Mm -hmm. um, I just recently left my position as chair of the board of the Flip Learning Network on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that was a, an exercise to give me more space to do other things. Okay. Um, and so when George okay. uh, sent out the join, I said, yeah, I've, I've got bandwidth. I'd love to do this. Great. Okay. I'm glad you're here. One of my favorite. Me too. I miss you. I haven't seen I all of too. my VC buddies. Yeah, I should come more to your coffee. Half. I should come more to your coffee. So the reason I it's did hard. this session is that I felt like there was maybe more people involved in Equity Unbound this time around, and I wanted to bring people together to uh, get to know each other, but also get to talk right. about the direction we're going in. Because I think when there are different people, the direction can change because of right. the makeup of the people who are doing it. Um, I but think I that's love important. This. And, 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 yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No, go, go ahead. ahead. Sorry, <laughs> I was thinking, forward. so how do you balance the mix of, there's all this thing when you have a continuing project mm -hmm. of bringing mm -hmm. in new people, but not bringing in too many, but bringing mm -hmm. in enough to, to inject new yeah. ideas. Yeah, yeah. We're going to that? find out today, I think, because uh, when you bring in new people, it's like creating, making the room for them to do something different than what right. you've been doing before. But everyone here has knows us relatively okay, so I think we're on the same... We have the same yeah. values and I think the values are the common denominator and then everything else is not a problem in my opinion. Okay. That we'll we'll makes figure sense. it out. I think the difference is to allow different pathways. Okay. Yeah. So Cause I, I, be I back know back. almost everybody in the room. So exactly. that helps exactly. From, my, from my perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. People are coming back in. Welcome back Hello, everyone. Everybody. Hi. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So fun. I'm, Great. I'm so happy. So I'm going to know the timing was good too. Yeah, I think two minutes is good if people are careful about oh, taking no. just their one minute. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> and you're using the automated two minutes? Yeah. I'm, I'm using an automated. It, it and automatically Zoom has the automatic feature. Back. Okay. Yeah, it yeah, automatically yeah. brings everyone back. It automatically, uh, it does all sorts of things. Cool. Um, That's awesome. I, I, yeah, so and it was I'm, good. To, it was good to have the uh, uh, timer in there visible. Uh, and yes, I think you can see for me it. And right. Itself, I think it it helped yes. because it's like okay, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's yeah. make sure we say you know each say something. So it helped yes, us do that. Yes, exactly. And yeah. I think it's helpful when you start with it, and then you have other timed activities because you're sort of getting people into the mindset of being concise and making room for the other. Yes. Person. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm right. going to demonstrate in the next one, I've sort of mixed up the breakout rooms into, like, it's very easy. You just recreate them automatically. It'll create a new set of pairs. Uh, what I've done now is I've sent all of you out, but Mia uh, is in a room of three. So Mia, you're a co-host. You should be able to very easily, anybody in the breakout room should be able to leave and come back to the main room if anything goes wrong. Uh, Mia, as a co-host, can actually move between the rooms if she wants to. So if you have a TA and you want them to move between rooms for some cool. reason, they can do that. Uh, I'm just going to ask Mia cool. to come back to the main room to be with me. Okay? okay. So you all go, but Mia, come back, and we'll just talk okay. about this question. And the question is, lately, my priority has been, okay? So I'm going to send you again for two minutes to answer this question together. And just as the teacher, I'm always monitoring the breakout rooms to make sure that people got there. So you, on Zoom, you get this green uh, button that shows that they they ended up there and they're together. So you're not worried about them. If someone drops off, Zoom will let you know that they are not in a room and you can. I'm Hi, back. Yeah. So what's your priority been lately? I'll tell you, my priority has been our work together and my children. Those are the two things. Um, I feel a little fr like fearful, to be honest with you, that I haven't been um, paying as much attention to the preparation for the fall. But I'm an old pro at that, and I'm just going to deal with it when I come back from vacation. So yeah, that's my answer. How about you? Yeah, uh, I would say the same thing. We're doing a lot of different things together, including these yeah. resources. Uh, for the next couple of days, I want to prioritize these resources so that we can launch them as early as possible. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and definitely then trying to, to make room for my child and get her ready for school. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. And I'm trying not to think too much about what's going to happen with school, to be honest, whether it's going to be exactly. online or face to face or whatever, because I think they're gonna, people change their minds with these things and I don't want to stress about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sort of trying to have a, a kind of a, almost like a let it be attitude about school and then see how it's unfolding. Mm -hmm. My kids what are going, yeah. but they have like, they're in a private school, just like Hoda, and mm -hmm. it's, it's a smaller, it's a lar rather larger space and a smaller amount of students. So right now, I'm just confident that maybe it'll be okay because they've really been thoughtful about all their protocols. But if there's any sign of any kind of problem in terms of the virus creeping up, mm -hmm. there I'm going to go virtual. And we all have that option. So, okay. but That's good. they're happy they're going back. And everyone like is, everyone's going to come back from the breakout rooms now, just letting Okay. Them. Yeah, so your kids are happy to be going back, you're saying? They are. They think that they'll be better students if they go virtual, which I think is interesting. But uh -huh. I, they want to go back because they're sick of just... Okay. <laughs> see what you mean. Oh okay, that one was too short. <laughs> that one was too <laughs> short. <laughs> okay. That okay. Was okay. Like, oh, like, another oh, another minute. <laughs> <laughs> Francesca okay. and I got paired... Francesca and I got paired twice, which is no problem. It was lovely to yeah. talk to her. Okay, right. you're not paired. Yeah. You're not paired with her next time. But yeah, that's interesting because <laughs> random, random does mean that occasionally Completely that will happen. Completely random. Yeah, yeah, it could happen. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'm really careful about those things, but I wasn't being very careful right now. And if you have I, a I large know, group, it's too hard. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes what I do to to ensure some kind of um, diversity, not randomization, is that if I have people from different countries or institutions, I tell them to rename themselves. So that okay. I, so yeah. in my class, I would say, rename yourself by your major, yeah. for example. And so if I want to make right. sure that they're from different majors, so they don't know each other, right. Um, right. then I look at the breakout rooms and I check that That's they don't cool. know each other and I put them together. Or that they assumably, of course, they could be That's from different majors, could be brother and sister, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this next time, uh, there is someone who dropped off. So now I'm going to have just two in each room. Um, and there won't be anyone with me, so that's okay. I'm just going to keep talking about it uh, while you guys are gone. Or I can pause the recording. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the recording while you guys yeah. are gone. So this next one is one superpower I'd love to have is, this one should be okay, right? Just take a second. Two minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, one, one superpower. Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, the superpower okay. to speak quickly. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> or could be to, Super My decision dream. to decide on the superpower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to send you all out. Okay. Carissa. Hi. Carissa, we are going to stay together? Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm so Hi. happy. I thought you left, <laughs> yeah. so I'm glad you're here. So basically what happened, you dropped off and you came back, so you're not in a breakout room, so you're here with me. So what's one superpower you'd love to have? Seriously, Maha, the power to end racism. I love that. Oh, wow. I really want to have the superpower because racism is going to, to stay with us for forever, I think. And according to my faith, I believe one day um, it will end um, because I really believe that one um, savior will come, according to my faith. Yeah, but I really wish I had that superpower myself. <laughs> so how about you? Oh well, I don't know how you can follow that one. Uh, <laughs> what's one superpower I'd love to have? Maybe I'll. Um, I pro. You know what? I think I'd love to have the superpower of infinite patience. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, both to be more patient with my own child because I know that I get impatient and that the kind of ways I behave with her won't result in whatever it is I want to result in and it's not good for her long term. But also then patience with people who are like white supremacists to be able to make them listen because you sort of feel like I don't want to do that labor. But then how are they ever going to learn if we don't, if nobody teaches them? <laughs> and And at the same time, it's not our burden to teach them. So there's there's something, I don't know where that balance is, honestly, but I, I wasn't thinking of it until you said that that would be your, the superpower you want to do is to end racism. You really need to have a kind of superpower, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it. Wow, thank you so much for sharing that. And I'm glad that this one thank gets, gets recorded. Thank I'm glad that this one gets into the video. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. <laughs> this is no longer, this is no longer a value-free video now. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so, so much for everything that you too. do. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, everyone should be back. I don't now. have patience. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone is back now, coming back in. Okay. Welcome back. You might <laughs> like the next one. This is the last one. Okay. Okay. What superpower I have that I can use this semester is. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so let me recreate all the rooms. Um, Catherine, you're in a room of three. Can you come back to me? Oh, no, someone dropped off. Yes. But well. whoever finds themselves in a room of three, you're not in a room of three anymore. So okay. whoever yeah, comes terrible. back, I'll just talk to the, okay, it's Anna oh. Smith. I'll stay with Anna Smith. She'll come back. I'll keep her. Okay. You guys go one superpower that you have that you're going to use this semester. <laughs> room two. Hi, Anna. You dropped off, right? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Are you okay with Sorry. Ben appearing? Are you okay with Ben appearing? What was that? Are you okay with Ben appearing on the video recording? Yes, or do you want to? Okay. You. So, what's one superpower that you you have that you actually do have? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Ken showed us a superpower in our last call. He's he's saying a little song to this guy. <laughs> I'd love to have the superpower to see babies all day long. That would be a nice yeah. superpower. But not the not the work part of babies, just the cute part of babies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. He's gonna put the push the button. Okay, I think her kids. Uh, just push the button to leave the meeting because it's maybe red. So maybe that's attractive to babies. So I guess that's one thing to keep in mind when we bring babies into rooms because it's really hard if you have a child uh, who's really young to be able to carry your, all your Zoom meetings without having a child come up at all. Um, and so maybe uh, teach them not to click on the red button or find a way. I'm not actually sure how he clicked on the red button. <laughs> Hi, Anna, did he, she's still connecting audio. Did he click the button to leave? <laughs> yes, again. Wow, well, is, is it a touch screen? <laughs> he, uh, there's a little bar on the top of my screen that can uh, touch screen, yeah. Right, right, exactly. So that's something to keep in mind, maybe when we have children with us to be not on a touch screen type of device. Yeah, yeah, it, that's, that's so true. Yeah. Well, that, that was useful yeah. actually. So it's time to bring people back from the break rooms, but that was okay. actually just a really useful thing to keep in mind is that it's really hard for us who have young children not to have our child appear at all. And I think right. it's lovely when they appear and it, it puts people in a good well, mood. Well, thank you. Them. <laughs> um, but, then, but then things happen, right? So, right, right. yeah. Okay. So everybody is back, I think. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for joining for this activity. Just very quickly, uh, what did this activity enable for you? Where might you use it? Do you think some of you might use this in your classes? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I was talking to Mia about this a little bit, um, that I, I've been talking with Lowry Phipps and others about how I want to model what we do, Maha, in all of mm -hmm. these setups that we're, mm -hmm. we're networking and we're, and we're and how do I model that networking and, and get students to understand why this is so important to us? And mm -hmm. so I think this will definitely help because I've been thinking about how to do it. And I think this is gonna help me um, do that with my students. Yeah. Hopefully when you how see the other PLN? resources. How do we PLN? Yeah, how do is we that, network? Is that, yeah. okay. How do we form personal learning network? And why is it important to me? Yeah, like, and why, this is and really why bother? To me and I, I, can't, I can't figure out how to explain it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think they have to just experience it, but of course it takes time to reach the peak of where we're at right now, which I think, maybe not the peak, but you know what I mean, like reaching the stage where it's not hard work and it's actually relaxing to connect with each other. Oh yeah. The beginning part of it takes a little bit of work and attention. Okay, is anybody It's the Zoom session anything? you want to join. Yeah, the Zoom, exactly. Remember we were talking about that. Yeah. Like, all zoomed out, but you do want to meet these people. Right. It's relaxing and it's not stressful. Yeah, um, there's so some meetings that are better than others. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody want to add anything? Yeah, go ahead. George, you were I just want to say that George's superpower relates to this question, I think. I don't know if you want to share it, George. Oh, the, the, uh, oh embrace the chaos. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay. It's really uh, Howard Rheingold. I lifted from him because he gave it to us. Catherine and I were in a course years ago, so we were re reminiscing a little bit while we were sharing superpowers. But um, uh, but basically, he, that's one of the things that he gave to us, uh, and it was about nine years ago ish, something like that, uh, uh, when we were in this little course together. And uh, it's like some things things are just going to fall apart, and so because I have taught lower division technology courses in computer labs and stuff, sometimes everything just falls apart. And I realized I didn't care and my colleagues did care. And I'm like, why don't I care? Oh, embrace the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording now. Thank you all for participating in this. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I would have done it anyway. So thank you. And I hope some of you will be able to use this.